Hello everyone and welcome. I hope you guys are all doing well today. Today we are going to be looking at the Teddy Bear Purse Compact. This set isn't new. It was released in December of 2021. I just didn't think I really wanted it for a long time, but finally decided to go ahead and get it. So now I'm showing it to you guys. So here it is. It's obviously a purse set or what they call a purse because it has this long cord and I guess you could fit a few things inside if you wanted to. I don't really love having these cords of course on these sets and you can take it off if you want to but for me I actually hang it up this way so I keep it on. Now there are lots of things I like about this set and lots of things I don't like so let's just go ahead and get into it. So first we have this pink purse cord and of course it has this little blue heart clasp. You can open these up and you could untie these knots and then you could take the cord out and that way you could take the cord off the playset if you wanted to. We have an orange clasp here. I've talked about how I prefer these over the typical clasp that you get on Polly Pocket sets these days because these are more secure. I wish they would just do this on all the sets. And of course the playset itself is this big blue teddy bear. Now this isn't technically part of of the pajama party line of compacts that have come out recently, but it definitely fits the theme. Our teddy bear is wearing this little sleepy eye mask. It is purple. He's got it pulled up onto his forehead. He's got an adorable little heart nose. He's carrying an even smaller pink teddy bear. He's got a heart on his feet and he has all of this star confetti in his belly. And in the background, you can see the moon and some stars. And of course you can give him a little shake and the star confetti moves all over. And I love the stitching look on him. They made it really look like a stitched up teddy bear. I think that's really cute. On the back, we just have the Polly Pocket logo and it says 2021 on it somewhere. There it is. Now these right here, this is something that I don't like about the set. This is here so kids could wear it on their belt, I guess. It's kind of weird to me. I don't know how many kids would actually wear it that way. And what annoys me is that it makes for an uneven surface when you're laying it down. The set kind of rocks back and forth. I wish they had just done away with that and just made it flat on the back. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look inside. Inside, we are immediately greeted with this beautiful house and a yard. We're gonna start up here at the top as usual. We have these really cool clouds up here at the top and we can see some shooting stars and there's this little star here. If we move it, we get more stars. So you're supposed to like just make the stars move like that. Pretty cool. Inside there, you can see this cat. I remember seeing this review of this set. Somebody was like, why would they make the cat look so sad? Like, this is a kid's toy. Why does the cat look so sad? I don't know. I, I don't think that cat looks sad. I think the cat looks sleepy because it's nighttime. That was my take on it anyway. I don't think that cat looks especially sad. We have a huge pink house. It's really not a whole lot to look at here, but the fun is on the inside. So first we just have this dark pink roof, pink house, I mean, pretty basic. You can see some plants and a mop or broom and bucket here. Some more plants. If you look to the side of the house, you can see some trees, the night sky. We have a little white door here that you can open up, but not much to look at when you open the door. The fun is had when you open the entire house up here we go. So on this side, we have some stairs. I really wish they put more detail work into this. It would have made it all look a lot nicer. We have this uh, grandfather clock here just kind of hanging out on the wall. I'm guessing it's supposed to be a second story or that's what they're going for anyway. Down here we have a table and chair. It looks like maybe a fireplace, some books on a shelf. You have some pictures going up the stairs, a chandelier. This is a funny little thing here on the stairs. I think you can take this off. Yes, you can. This is just so you can have your characters slide down the banister. I guess, you know, kids do that. They slide down the banister. So that's why that is there. And our stairs kind of lead to nowhere, which I don't really like. I don't like when stairs don't lead to anywhere. I mean, you can turn it like that and then it kind of does. But when it's open up like this, when you're playing, it just goes to nowhere. So if we go inside the house, looks like we are in a girl's bedroom. It looks like Polly's bedroom actually, because we can see a P right there in that mirror. That's kind of a cool mirror. She has a closet here. We can see some of her clothes. We have this big bean bag, a shelf thing with a plant on it. I don't know if that's a big window or a big mirror, probably a window. Then we have a stereo. 
And then of course here's her floor. It is orange. We've got three pegs here and a little rug. Moving on down, we have the kitchen. So here we can see a mixer, a microwave, just some kitchen things on a shelf behind the microwave, some pots and pans on the wall. We have a sink. We have a oven that does open up. And inside we can see a chicken or a turkey cooking. We also get a refrigerator and it can even open up and you can actually see some food in there. That's pretty cool. I can see lots of veggies fruits, a pumpkin, corn, just various foods. I do appreciate that they put that in there. What I don't like about the kitchen is how silver it is. That's really boring. They could have done a lot more work there. Moving down. Now I really like one feature about this front yard and that is this deck. First of all, you can just see some things laying in on the deck like a map, binoculars. We have a picnic going. We have a laptop, a teddy bear of course, and a little sleep mask. Over here we see a backpack and a soccer ball and there are lots and lots of pegs. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pegs. That's really awesome. But what I really love about this deck is... It opens up so we can store things inside and just a different place to play. We even have some like shelves here under our deck. That's interesting. We see balls and toys. Down here we have lots of things thrown in. It looks like another radio, some boots, rope, maybe some gardening supplies, and various toys. You can't fit a whole lot in here, but pretty much everything either stores in here or inside the house. So this set is really easy to store away and you're able to keep all the pieces with it so I really appreciate that. Moving down we just have a big grassy area with a swimming pool. There are a couple of pegs here. One, two in the grass, one here on the diving board and one in the pool. We again have this really weird diving board. I don't like how they do this diving board. Personally I would prefer if it was just straight and you couldn't move it. This just doesn't do it for me. It should at least be spring loaded or something because this is just more like a seesaw than a diving board. So I think that does it for the set. Let's take a look at all the accessories that you get with this set. We get lots of food because this is a sleepover so you want to have lots of snacks. We have two buckets of popcorn, a pizza, and some purple cupcakes. We get two rubbery little eye sleep masks. One in purple and one in pink. These would be super easy to lose and super easy to rip, so be careful. We get this little pink tufted stool and a darker pink vanity. We have to have a couple of little stuffed animals when we go to sleep, of course, so we get this light purple teddy bear and a blue teddy bear. And we will need somewhere to sleep, so we get these beds, one in blue, one in purple. They are bunk beds, so they can stack, or you can use them separately. We get a silver telescope so that you can look at the stars at night. We get a pink and yellow tent in case you want to sleep outside instead of inside. When you're hanging out outside, you can sit out by this fire that we get and a pink flamingo floaty if you decide to go in the pool. For characters, we get to this little girl. She has purple hair. She's wearing a purple eye mask. She has on her pajamas. She has a little teddy bear on her shirt. She's even wearing yellow slippers. And we get this girl. She has brown hair. She is wearing purple pajamas and her slippers are blue. So there you go guys, that was the Teddy Bear Purse Compact. Like I said, this is not a new set, so hopefully you still enjoy watching it. I know I've seen a couple of videos on it, but I really wanted to show it to you guys just in case you haven't seen it. And since it isn't new, that means you can oftentimes find it on sale. I know I've seen it as low as $13. I think right now though, it's about $20. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are having an absolutely wonderful day, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.